my hair. Chattanooga, as you know, is an artist's haven, and now the pulp of the scenic city has extended to an artist from Finland. Philip Laszlo is bringing his tribute to the forgotten here, and it's all to help the Orange Grove Center. It is so great to welcome Philip Laszlo back to the show this morning, joined with Heidi Hoffaker from the Orange Grove Center. Welcome to you both. Thanks Thank for having you. us. It's been Thanks. a few months, Philip, since you were here yeah. on 3 Plus U the first time. Yes. April seems so far away then, but you're back now with this wonderful uh, exhibit at the River Gallery. Yes, it's going to open officially on the 2nd of, of April, and hopefully it will be a success. Well, you're getting a lot of attention, and we're glad that you are. You met with Mayor Andy Burke yesterday. Correct. How was that meeting? It was a very pleasant meeting. Nice man. and. Uh, no, we, sp we spoke about, about the exhibition and we also spoke about the city and especially about the, the cooperation with, with Orange Grove. Well, let's get to the heart of this because all art has a story behind it. Your story is that you had a conversation with a friend, the conversation turned to the discarding of people uh, and you began to take photographs of trash. Exactly. Around Europe. Yes, that's true. That's true. Um, she said after having had, after having been uh, fired from her job, that she feels like trash thrown onto a landfill. And I started thinking, how could I, with images, portray this, her feeling? So I decided I'll go to the landfills and see what what I can find there. So during five years, I shot these images that, that will be there of course they're metaphors of the times that we live in right proof that one man's trash has become another man's treasure uh, so <laughs> yes. you enter Heidi into the picture um, and Philip and his sister who is here in town came knocking on your door at Orange Grove to say look we'd like to sell Philip's work and let the proceeds go to benefit Orange Grove were you kind of in shock when you heard this I, I was wary um, I generally think if something seems too good to be true it generally is so the very first thing we do on our end is say well why don't you come for a tour and let's talk about this further so uh, they came for a tour and what Philip does really does uh, mesh with what we do and that is uh, we serve children and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities who historically have been the forgotten, have That's been right. the discarded, have been marginalized. And Orange Grove, for as long as it's been in existence, has tried to um, do away with stigma, get our folks involved in their environments, in their communities, in their neighborhoods, be accepted as important and valued members of society. So um, they are our treasure, just like the uh, trash that Philip photographs is his treasure. Just like you are so protective, and rightly so, of the image of Orange Grove and, and how you uh, promote that, Philip is too with, with his art, and when his sister Cece went to tour, uh, at Orange Grove, she says she was just beyond overwhelmed. I mean, it was an immediate knowing that this is where they, who they wanted to partner with. You're, you have worldwide recognition. We do uh, now. Well, <laughs> but, but really, even I, I, we had somebody on our show recently who could have gone anywhere in the country for her daughter, and right. she chose Orange Grove. Right. Yeah. So the work you're doing is fantastic. Well, thank you. We think so. So, so tell us how this is going to work. You're on display. It's um, the the um, only at the River Gallery, it is, it is the showing happening there only, right? Uh, yes, at the moment. Uh, and and it's it will be there. It, it's the whole month of April. Yes. And what you have, you, you take these photographs and you put them on canvases of varying sizes, right? But some are quite large. Yes, they're, uh, the largest ones that will be displayed are 40 by 28. Okay. And uh, the, the smaller ones are going to be um, 28 by 20. 20 and they're all uh, printed on acrylic okay if you when you go we're going to tell you a lot and you won't be able possibly to hold on to all of it but you'll see these nice brochures there uh, at the river gallery philip is from europe so his work is sold literally worldwide and what he's also done and you're going to have to fill me in if i get this a little bit wrong but uh Part of the, the title of this is, is Dignity by Philip Laszlo. Yes. And anything that is sold throughout the world now that has that dignity 
uh, logo attached to it goes back to benefit Orange Grove. That's correct. That is correct. And that's including textiles as well as... Textiles, anything, anything that's licensed. We hope to be able to license on many, many products the the, the, the brand name Dignity by, well, Dignity by Philip Laszlo, because uh, Dignity is something that at the moment there perhaps isn't enough of it. Well, art is one of those things that you buy and you forever remember your purchase and where you were when you got it and the feeling you had when you purchased it. And to be able to add to what you're bringing into your home, knowing then what you're giving back uh, to the community at Orange Grove is really a win-win for everybody. We hope so. We're glad you're here. Any last words, Heidi, before I tell them where to go and when? Come see the show. <laughs> come see you. Bye. <laughs> yeah, don't just come and see. Come and buy. It all begins Bring April 1st. Box. The timing couldn't be better because it is spring break week for folks here in town. So it'll be a good time to come and browse uh, the River Gallery. And again, all the proceeds go back to the Orange Grove Center. Um, and we encourage you to go and see and be inspired. Thank you both so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us.